I hate this one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna compose myself. No, I can't do it. <laughs> um, hi everyone. <laughs> I know I'm talking to like imaginary people. <laughs> they're real though, they're real people. Yeah, no, they're real. <laughs> Comment down below if you're a real person. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name's Katie and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay, this is my cousin. <laughs> not my friend. We're not friends. <clears throat> no, we're not friends no. at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't like you. No. Yeah, so today um, I ran out of ideas. No one liked the cats video that I put up, so. <laughs> We're gonna do a best friends tag because um, we we are BFFs. We're besties. Mm -hmm. Just oh, this is oh. Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cousin Kelly. <laughs> yeah, this is going well already. No, it's been great. We're doing good. So, first question: How and when did you and your best friend meet? Mm, well, it all started 18 years ago when I was born. True. Um, and you were like two at that point. Yeah. So it's a really interesting story. It's really, really interesting. Yeah. Um, it's like a, just a fabulous meet cute. What was your first impression of, of them? Or of me? These are weirdly worded. You're gonna, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I thought you were like a little annoying. Yeah, one year at Thanksgiving, you just like took Connor's bionicles. <laughs> Connor's my older brother. And you just like threw them across the room. That sounds like something I would do. Yeah, yeah. you were like two. <laughs> what is your favorite memory together? I actually don't know how to answer this I one. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. We we spent like our whole life together, so that's like yes. nothing really sticks out. No, yeah. never had a good time like hanging out with you before. No. <laughs> oh, I know. It's probably the time we watched that movie, A Door. Oh, where yeah. Where the two moms fall in love with each other's teenage sons. That's it. That's the one. That's probably the one. I think that's what jump started our career of watching bad movies. Yeah. Together. If you've never seen that movie before, don't watch it. It's Australian and it's something else. It's traumatizing. Describe each other in one word. Funky. <laughs> no, I, I I accept that. Oh my god, there's so many words just in the English language. Yeah. Um, I'd have to go with um. Like I wanted. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm actually I'm gonna change my word. I'm gonna change it to quirky. I was gonna say quirky. <laughs> well, we're just two quirky gals on out, out on the town. I was gonna say quirky and then explain it because you're not outwardly quirky. Um. <laughs> to a lot of people. <laughs> if you and your best friend could live anywhere in the world together, where would it be and why? Honestly, I feel like we should live our truth and just move to Greece. Oh, well, yeah, that's always a great option. Yeah. You know, sing ABBA on the streets and have everyone like look at us. If like, you've not had this conversation with your best friend, then I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Some of these are stupid. What's your best friend's favorite animal? Like, no. Do you have a favorite animal? I do. You do? I do have a favorite animal. What's your favorite animal? Um, koala bear. What's your best friend's favorite TV show? We watch too much television it's collectively. <laughs> I could give you a full list. What's the name of your best friend's first crush? I'm gonna bleep it out. <laughs> I don't even know yours. <laughs> I don't know if this is right, but if I were to guess, it would... No, it was. <laughs> I had, a, I had a crush on a boy named Jonathan in preschool. <laughs> oh. I was probably Zac Efron. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. Like, if we're talking first celebrity crush, Celebrity crushes, that's different. Yeah. That's... <laughs> uh, that's, um... That's Benny from My Babysitter's a Vampire. <laughs> 100%. Does your friend have an expression or phrase that they say very often? You say Gucci a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that paints a weird picture of me. <laughs> no, actually I have stopped doing this, but like in 2019, like I definitely started saying the word Gucci as a joke because mm -hmm. there was like that Stanley Tucci song that they did on um, SNL, yeah. like where he's like, Gucci game, but it was Stanley Tucci. And so I started saying, oh, oh I know, yeah. oh, and I watched the movie Eighth Grade. Yeah, and she and said Gucci. She says Gucci all the time. That's what I was like. I started saying it ironically, like, Gucci. <laughs> and then I just started like saying it unironically. That's how most things start with it's, me. Yeah, me too. I started saying lit as a joke and now here we are. Oh, I was in a group project and, um, but I, there was this guy in my group and every time something good happened, he'd go sick. <laughs> and I, I thought that was really funny. And so I started saying it ironically, but now I say it like all the time. Yeah. Who's more extroverted slash introverted? I feel like you're more of an extrovert than I am. Yeah, and that's really saying something. In not the way that the average viewer might expect. I feel like I'm definitely more of an extrovert, but I'm not an extrovert. But I feel like when it comes to like calling someone on the phone or ordering food, I feel like I am the extrovert in that scenario. Exactly. Remember that one time that I was at your house and you guys, you and Madison were ordering like Chinese food. Oh, yeah. And you put me on the phone <laughs> with the guy and the phone call lasted like 20 minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I wasn't even eating the food. I was leaving. And I was like, guys, I gotta go. And then Madison just handed me the phone and I was on the phone with him for like 20 minutes. I don't know why but that happened. I don't know why I didn't just hand the phone to one of you guys and leave. Why did we do that? Oh my God, this is a public apology. If your friend could have one superpower, which one would it be and why? It's weird calling you my friend. <laughs> yeah. That's the most uncomfortable part of this whole video. I feel like you're, you're on the side, like, in, on the side of the age-old controversy, would you rather fly or would you rather be invisible? Yeah. I feel like you're on the invisible side. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I, I feel like you would lie on the invisible side, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Anyone who chooses flying, why? No, you're wrong. Yeah, that's um, terrifying. That's the hill that I will die on. Yeah. My friend the other day texted me. She was like, do you want to go skydiving? I was like, no. no. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Planes are supposed to be in the air with me in them. Mm -hmm. Not the other mm -hmm. way around. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. If you grew up together, what's a story, funny story from your childhood? We should have one of these, we but really we don't. We really should. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. Well, when we were kids, we used to do, we would go to the beach. If you, if you have seen the movie Aquamarine, <gasps> there's this, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we had, there's this fabulous scene where she like turns her long sleeve t-shirt into like a, a halter top dress. So that we had a big phase with that. I don't know if you did, but I definitely did and I, I forced it upon you both. Do do not think I, I'm, I'm conscious enough to remember this, but like oh. I do remember the Aquamarine phase. And it is the best film ever put to the big screen, so. Oh yeah, 100%. There's like that scene, like, <laughs> this is the only thing I remember from Aquamarine. <laughs> it's like when they're just like going past like the hot guy's house and then he, I forget his name. I don't remember it. Fun fact about me, I don't remember anyone's name from television. Not once, ever one time. I know Aquamarine's name. It was Aquamarine. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, they did call her that. Yeah, but um, where he's like, she like falls and like ski like skims her knee on the ground, and like the hot guy just like comes in slow motion like out of the house to like give her a band aid. <laughs> did that happen? Yes, it does. But it's really funny because like it's like super dramatic, but like she literally just has like a scrape on her knee. <laughs> I remember the, the one scene from Aquamarine um, where Aqua um, like it, like she has blue streaks in her hair. Yeah, and then everyone's like, oh my god, she's so cool. She has blue streaks in her hair, mm -hmm. and um, I literally just watched a, like a, a video of like people recreating a scene from it. I cannot remember. Oh gosh! But um, that's a film. It's... Yeah. Um. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Um. This you know this wasn't as awkward as I thought it was gonna be. At the beginning, it was. Yeah, but then it just turned into us hanging out. So it's yeah. Fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Um...